Hello, I'm Zachary Landolt. And I'm Aaron Holman. And welcome to another episode of Two Gays Watch Drag Race. Today we're recapping RuPaul's Drag Race Season 13, Episode 5, Bag Ball Eleganza. And today we're joined by a very special guest from the legendary House of Hall, Becky Essence Hall. Yeah. Milwaukee's own sweetheart and up and coming superstar herself. She is also the show director at This Is It Bar, the oldest LGBT bar in Milwaukee. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. Wow, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for coming on the show. We're so happy to have you. Of course. Thank you for having me. I will do anything anything that is related to drag because I just love it so much. <laughs> what have you been thinking of the fashion so far from the Queens on season 13? Okay, not to be any... The... <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, but this... this... <laughs> I, I have to remember to balance out the good with the bad. Oh, we, we, but... do, we do a balance here. Like, we keep yeah. it real, but we always uh, uplift all the queens. They all deserve respect, but yes. there are mo mo but moments happen. The looks have been cute. They have been, there have been good looks. There have been bad looks. But overall, I am very impressed. And the cast of season 13 are doing a lot better than I expected them to based on like the promos and everything. Um, we open and everyone is still recovering from the departure of Kamora Hall. And oh, the girls talk about how the competition is really starting now. <laughs> and uh, we get into this whole moment with Candy announcing that her biggest competition is Simone, to which Tamisha says, it's still early. You don't know all of our talents yet. What did you think of this whole moment? That was intense. And I knew something was going to boil because it was the same thing with like Elliot making little side comments, knowing Candy would like mm -hmm. be irritated by it but it was mm -hmm. Tamisha so I'm like Tamisha did have a point like Candy didn't know any of those girls based on mm -hmm. that one runway but looking <laughs> also looking at Simone she did win two challenges in a row in the beginning of the season mm -hmm. so it's like, absolutely she's a strong front runner and you can't deny it but Literally. also winning early can be tricky too because we've seen people come in like hot. Not that I think Simone's going to fizzle out, but mm -hmm. people can come in hot and heavy and then, you know, it's hard to keep that momentum up the entire time. So, mm -hmm. so we do the mini challenge, which is this really bizarre, quick baby drag moment. And La Lari is the winner, winning a 2,500 gift card from fiercequeen.com. Um, I just thought this was a weird fever dream of a thing to watch. It was, it was. Uh, oh, that was a, that was interesting. Um, <laughs> I loved it. It was my fantasy. It gave me. <laughs> <laughs> then RuPaul announces the maxi challenge of the week, which will be a bag ball. The Queens must serve looks in the categories of mixed bag, money bags, and bag ball eleganza, which is a look which must be made by the Queens from various types of bags that are provided to them in the workroom. So um, you, as someone who sees clothes in your mind, did you have any instant ideas of what you might have, would have wanted to do for this challenge? Okay, yes, I actually did. And I talked about it this morning. So for my, my look, cause you know, you had the mixed bag. Yeah. So for mixed bag, I would do a dime bag. <laughs> of, yes. Of weed and I would be weed. And so it would be like, I would be like in a plastic bag at first and then I just like flip it out and it's like this real cute like weed tail like train. Oh, I'm sick of But that was also my idea for the train runway like marijuana and then it would be like the weed plant and like smoke like gray tool as smoke under it. So it looks Beautiful. like it's like floating. Oh. I don't know. I just really love weed. Can I say that on the podcast? Oh, yeah, a hundred percent. I really love weed. <laughs> it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. Very. And I don't, I don't call many things beautiful besides myself, but weed is one of them. <laughs> My God, girl. Well, I think let's go ahead and pull up the video because we do have, I mean, we have a whole ball to get through. We We've have got many three looks, looks to go through. Queen. 36 <laughs> looks. And heels. Yeah. So the first cat coming out as an airbag. What do we think of it? I love this. And I'm so glad she ran on the runway. I said, <laughs> if I ever got on Drag Race, I would want to run 
down the runway and she got to do that and live that fantasy and I'm so glad for her but this mm-hmm. look is sickening this was probably yeah. one of my favorite yeah it was Me fun too. I, was, I liked it I was into it up next in the category of mixed bag after Denali we have Joey J as not poison ivy but just ivy bag ivy bag <laughs> I liked yeah. it I actually enjoyed it when she first came around the corner, but once I started to look at it, it just started to get worse and worse and worse and worse. Well, yeah, at first when she came out, I was getting like Ellie Driver from Kill Bill, like like in the nurse outfit kind of vibes. And then Mm -hmm. then I started Mm -hmm. to see the ivy on the look and I went, oh, wait, what? I'm confused. (laughs) And then the more I looked at it, I went, oh, I... (laughs) I like parts of it, but I'm also just a little confused. And then when she described the look, I I, I was and did it say poison ivy? Wow. And after Joey J uh, itches their way off the runway, uh, we have Lala Re as bag of bones. Mm-mm. I like, I like, I like the, the concept. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That bag needs to be way bigger. There needs to be like bones. The bone should have like spread like it should have started very full at the bottom and like spread up Mm -hmm. and that would have been a lot more than just these random bones put on a once again a black dress (laughs) but like also this bag i get it like you're a bone collector but like you don't have to like wear the bag you collect them in you You could have been the bag and then had like bones spilling out of it Mm -hmm. in a way Mm -hmm. i think that would have been different not this yeah, like it's I liked, I liked the concept. I did like yeah. the idea, um, and like her, you know, her her wig and makeup was stunning. But it's just like, it was just like a like a simple version of a. I actually think a a cool idea, but it just needed to have a little more. It looked like I made that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! But I loved after La La Rie heads out to go collect more stones. Skip this, skip this. What is that? She added a string and some tool to the a, a regular dress. This is horrible. I hate it. It's too simple. This thing. Um, as a gift <laughs> bag, right? A gift and bag. I like the little two RuPaul, but that was it. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Tamisha. And then Tamisha, Tamisha, Tamisha Iman. She said, holla at me, I know you know me. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I love this. I liked it. I don't know what the judges were talking about, but I genuinely enjoyed this look. Yeah, that was fun. I thought like as like a first a first look. I thought it was a nice like showing some personality and humor, you know. And I, I feel know, like the a... judges aren't seeing Tamisha's drag aesthetic. Tamisha is a classic drag queen. It's not yeah. always about like costumes and sparkle. As long as you have a fully head to toe put together look, I feel like it could have sparkled and shined a little bit more, but the look this stuff is clean. Mm. Uh, we have Simone coming out next with her fun bags. <laughs> this was one of my favorite looks of the night, personally. I need that dress. I need that dress. I need that dress in my life. What the fuck? That dress is sickening. I love mm-hmm. it. And this was so silly. So quirky. Yeah. Simone yeah. is one of my favorites, and she is cute out of drag. Simone, if you ever listen to this podcast, mama, Hit me up. <laughs> you heard it here first. We are making uh, some connections happen. <laughs> Next to the stage, we have Miss Olivia Lux. Becky Essence right. Hall. Yeah, yeah <laughs> honestly. If I had a dollar for every time somebody told me I looked like Olivia, I would not have to sew any more costumes. <laughs> but I love this look. I Oh, those braids. That wig just was melted so good on mm-hmm. her. I don't really like the look for this look because it was a punching bag, you know, mm-hmm. but she was a boxer. I feel like she should have done more of the punching bag. Yeah, I don't she's, think she's not like, wearing the bag. She's not exactly. Yeah, it didn't quite match the theme. Like it looked good. I know she's getting a lot of comparisons to Simone because she also did a boxing look, but mm-hmm. I think it's also cute. I think I did prefer Simone's uh, boxing like over this. Oh, but absolutely. Also, I, yeah, it's just like, I wish you could have found some way, yeah, to, 
have it match the theme a little more it was just a little, it was like kind of like stretching it to make it match um, yeah, yeah but i also feel like if i can't come up with a way to change it then i really shouldn't speak on it <laughs> but because i can't really think of like a way to see the punchy bag yeah but like i get it but i just wish it was different <laughs> Moving forward, after Olivia Lux leaves the stage, knockout, we have got Mick arriving mm -hmm. dead. Oh, to the I runway. I love this look. But mm -hmm. this is, oh, this look is sickening. And God, Mick is like very much the high fashion girl. And I can't mm -hmm. wait to see the looks that she has for the rest of the season. Mm -hmm. Like that look, mm -hmm. oh, perfect. Yeah, Nobody, you know, like I knew she went on and she was like, nobody else is going to have this look. And she was right. And I love that. Mm -hmm. And the way that she wore the body bag, uh, you know, as a jacket. You were saying, yeah, sickening, you know, mm -hmm. what a reveal that it was already <laughs> see through, like, <laughs> ah, living. I loved it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good, good drag there. Now we have bringing to the stage bagpipes. It is mm. Rose. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like all the, um, honestly, the, it looks like Scottish dildos. I don't know what those things are called, like <laughs> on the back. That's the part pipes. I like about it. <laughs> I literally, I don't like it. I the pipes. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a fan, but I like Rosé. She looks really cute, but this is not <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> and then we have Tina Burner, brown bag in it. I do not like this. What is the bottom? Yeah, I wasn't feeling those. I never figured that out, honestly. What is the bottom? Like it is like I see the beer bottles on it, but it does not match. Yeah, I, I have no idea what it's supposed to be. Oh, wait, Candy Muse. <laughs> but this, oh, her makeup. Candy's makeup looks immaculate. She looks yes. like a honey bun. She looks so soft. I need to take tips from her. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. But this look. I thought it was cute, especially with the pipe mm -hmm. and her pulling out random things from her bag. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, then, and, the, and, the and then the bag turned into a cape. a cape. Bag of tricks. That was sick. Utica. Serving us a doggy bag. I love a queen who commits to a storyline. This is a... <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I know they were commenting on how her runway style is too campy, but I think I actually like that about her. That's always a little silly but she but the and she's still also very sickening. fashion like yes. she's a mix of both like she doesn't let one overpower the other she's one of the few queens that i really appreciate that has like the look and the personality yeah because i feel like she'll do a, a punny idea like a tina burner but it actually looks like fashion and polished, fashion and, and so... it's not ronald mcdonald <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the next category for the ball is money bags Ooh, this is a rich. category that ah uh, rich bitch let's see Literally. these looks first to the stage mm. denali serving some cruella deville realness mm -hmm. i didn't like it that much i thought it was cute but just because there was another cruella deville look later i was kind of mm. like mm. honestly it looks it looks like she put her face on in the wrong spot does that make sense <laughs> <laughs> like, like it looks off. Like I can see, I don't know. I can see something funny. Yeah, something, something I think her weird. makeup got a lot better like after Drag Race. Next for money bags is Joey J. Nick. I mean, <laughs> God bless. Bless, like what? I hated I, this. Yeah. I didn't get it at all. She looks like a super villain and a super <laughs> villain, like one of those super villains who always fails. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like a Kim Possible supervillain, but like, mm -hmm. you know, one of the side character ones. I just don't understand how the purse and the, again, this red jacket, I just oh, don't get it. doesn't match, yeah. It doesn't At make all. Sense to me. Now we have La La Ree serving us some florals. Okay, but I, I thought this was really cute. And I'm so <laughs> glad too. that, cause she's a, she did the ball look and it's so clean and shiny. She looks yeah. like a lady I would see in the beauty supply store. <laughs> And I mm -hmm. swear I had those shoes. <laughs> oh, I love the shoes with the bag. I think, I think they're, they're the ones you were wearing hair. in your latest post. Yeah, oh, the, yeah. with the new mm -hmm. outfit. Cute. And I was very happy to see Lala Ree looking gorgeous. Yes. 
Yeah, me too. Ooh, to the, oh my gosh, to the executive boardroom, we have <laughs> <laughs> Elliot with two T's. This look was cute. This was okay. Yeah, was like, she looks was... like Christina Applegate again to me. I've oh. said this before. I got like Heathers. She like, I was like, is it supposed yeah, to be Heathers? Heathers? Yeah, and this red fabric, I told y'all, you know she got this on sale at Joanne. <laughs> but <laughs> it's kind of basic and they should read her. If they're going to read Tamisha for shit like that, then... They need to read her because this yeah. is basic. This is basic. I get the pointy shoulders. Pointy shoulders don't mean high fashion. This, <laughs> uh, this look is basic. Uh, what I was thinking would have been really nice on this is if she had taken like the bottom of um, the skirt and even the sleeves, maybe if she'd added fringe or something, something to give it more movement. Movement, and just something, something extra, something drag. Yeah. Something yeah, like exactly. Black the black drawstring bow it, it 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 does make it look very colonel sanders <laughs> so <that's all> <laughs> and i don't think that's what she intended if she came down with the runway with a bag of chicken you know i would have been here for that <laughs> now that would have been everything and that would have been <laughs> oh tamisha tamisha okay this now this one was basic this one was a little basic because it looks a lot like the last one yeah, it was not mm -hmm. my favorite from her so far. Mm -mm. And her makeup does look a little hard. Michelle <laughs> got her for that. <laughs> Next up, we have Simone serving some fifth element. Mm -hmm. oh, some stunning. I love this fabric. <laughs> Why is Simone so gorgeous? So gorgeous. So look at her and look at her skin. She literally looks like melting chocolate all the yeah. time. And it's just yeah. stunning. Those the places where they chose to do the peekaboo little slits and everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, like this is a serve. This look would have won another runway. You know. Yeah, even. I'm surprised she got safe. She ate this category up. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just it's stunning, absolutely stunning. The collar matches the wig, and I'm obsessed with every part of it. This look was one of my favorites. This is a look that I was talking about as like daytime fish, but it's still drag. It's a look, and you it's can... Olivia Lux with a cape. Oh my god! I did love the cape. I didn't love the lining of the cape that much, but I loved the the silhouette of the look though I did like. I see yeah this but the look oh I want it and that hair that hair she just looks gorgeous and I'm not just saying that because we look alike <laughs> <laughs> next to the stage we have got Mick oh I love this look it looks like she took Jasmine Masters uh <laughs> pinstripe suit and then redid it it's like the nth degree Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Favorite look. I of like movie. everything, but I hate the wig. I do not like wigs just pull back into ponytails. <laughs> but what would you have done instead? If she had like slicked it back, like just a real slick back, like hairspray slicked it back, especially mm -hmm. for like a business suit like this, that would have been very fashion mm. and it's better than a ponytail. Mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have Rose coming out, giving us her best Bette Midler. I recognize that right away, oh, sure. but I don't know why. I still don't love it. I, I like was, it. I yeah, think I like it's that. cute. It's it, clean. I think Rosé's biggest issue is I'm also struggling to find her drag aesthetic and to see who Rosé is because she kind of gives a lot of everything. And that's it's kind of similar to Jan. It's like, what do you do? What are you known for? Yeah, I think she's a queen that's inspired by many things, which can sometimes lead to it, like her identity being a little muddled. I think she has a lot of references. Um, and I do like this as, as a, a Bette Midler fan. I, I thought it was mm -hmm. cute. It just looks like a really good Bette Midler costume. I don't know if it was Yeah, like true. It looks like she got ready for Snatch Game instead of yeah, uh, the money ball. It looks like a Snatch Game look. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, true. I see that. We have next to the stage Miss Tina Burner in uh in Houndstooth. This is a look that I actually enjoy for Miss Tina. Yeah, I said I because it's not her ugly colors. <laughs> but she's sticking love. with the red, Except so we still head. know. <laughs> yeah, but this is a clean look, and I think it fit very well. And her hair matches the bag, and this oh, this look clean, 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 mm -hmm. clean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Expensive. She More looks like a rich bitch. Mm-hmm. Candy. 
Oh my God. What it okay. I love yeah. it. I don't care what oh, nobody yeah, I was, did. I was really I was this really was into this actually. I think y'all Andy, talk about it then. Odd bless. Uh, did you, you not hate like it? it? I don't know why. It's I just I don't know. I need I don't know. I they guess reminded I don't me of like, like it now. The woman who runs like a brothel and it's just like a bad bitch. I just I don't know. It's just something about it, the the vibe she was selling with it. I was <laughs> It's just a Yeah, I liked it though. I really liked it. Mm-hmm. It gave me very Cardi B. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. the and the money blunt. I don't know. It's it's great. This, Our final contestant for the money bags category is Utica. I what liked it. You this like it? Very different and very new compared to the other stuff that we've seen so far. And I'm so glad that she is versatile. Yeah, mm-hmm. we do I'm, definitely get that. I'm very glad that she's versatile, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I was into this. It was a different kind of vibe from her so far. She looks like she was like auditioning for Velma Kelly in like Chicago, uh, and I love it. I like, like the big like earrings on her too. chest. That is my favorite thing. Me too. And our final category for the ball is Bag ball eleganza. Yes. Oh, my favorite category by far. Mm. Denali. We have Denali coming out in some Dia de los Muertos inspired look. I mm-hmm. thought this was really cute. I loved it. It's, I love the makeup for this. Yes, yeah, very cute. Mm-hmm. Now, what did you think about the fact that she thought that she should have been in the top oh. for that look? Do you think um, that that look was worthy of the top? Absolutely not. It was a lot going on. I said it was cute. I didn't say it was all of that. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a difference. Literally. Okay. We have Joey J coming out in... I'm not oh. sure what's going on. Are you? Uh, no. Uh, I like, where do you of... want our eye to look at your body? Like, what, what <laughs> kind of silhouette are you trying to make us look at? What is I like, it? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. And I just did a Minnie Mouse look last night and I, <laughs> and this was nothing. This is not the same. It what are like, those bags? I'm not sure. What are did they? She, did she just make like cloth bags? Like sort of? <laughs> I think they were canvas bags. I think that's what she said. Um, I'm very confused. Yeah, yeah no, not... I don't know what that was. I don't think Joey knew either. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> After Joey J, oh my God, oh, La La Ree, we have what a said gift, enough. what a gift. We have said enough about this garden yeah. bag. Yeah, I don't want to drag her too much, but my God, when you pause hold on, it. Hold on, hold on, I, I found something nice to say. I found okay. something nice to say. Yes. Uh, it does look like, because those are small little bags, right? Uh-huh. Like it's a small purple bag, then a small pink bag. It does look like she patterned the bags like yes. it goes in a pattern. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, well, if we're well, looking for some sort of that effort, one. is what I'm trying to say. If we're looking for something nice to say about this outfit, is that it fell apart and we never have to see it again. Never. We have Elliot with two T's coming out in the pink cow stunning. I did love this that was cute. This was cute. This is my favorite thing she's worn so far. So this is I'll probably the only thing I will enjoy from Elliot. <laughs> but this, I love this look and she really gagged me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, making that out of like bean bags, that's like, that's pretty impressive. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, it was gorgeous. The, yeah. It did not look uh, like it was a bean bag to me. It didn't at all. That looked like a fashion couture outfit. Mm-hmm. Maybe not Next couture, up, but we have Tamisha cute. Iman. And aren't those dime bags on the bottom of her thing? Uh, is that what that is? The the skirt? I think it's a lot of. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, is it dime bags? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, queen! I didn't uh-huh. like the dress. I didn't like the dress at all. It looked Judy Jesse Hooker. <laughs> but it is very shiny, very sparkly. Mm-hmm. And... I wish the um the 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 fabric that matches the the shoulder pieces. I wish it had not been at the waist. I wish it would just been like that bodice into the bottom. I think it would have mm-hmm. just I like see. made it a little cleaner. I don't think she needed that extra like fabric on that part of her body. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually do like the like the bodice and the shoulder part of it. 
And I even like the colors of the bottom parts. Just something about it all together was just not my favorite. And next up, we have Simone coming out mm. in, I don't a two, know. A two-piece. Um, yeah, a two-piece. And, she and serving survived. the legs. Serving yeah. the legs, let me tell you. Her, her milk dud fantasy. Oh, she just, her skin is just so good. Like, she looks like dripping. But yeah. this look is simple. She survived. Mm. She tried and she played it safe. And I give her props for that. She definitely served the outfit. You know, she was wearing mm -hmm. it and made it fashionable just mm -hmm. with presentation. Up next, we have Olivia Lux in a, oh God, I love this outfit. This I is perfect. Love. This is what I'm talking about when you make something and transform it into what you don't even know that it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like you would have never believed, like she could go out to a gig in this and nobody would ever clock that this was bad. She no. could show up to film a Chromatica music video for <laughs> Lady Gaga and this, and they'd be like, good, love it. Perfect. You look phenomenal. Stunning. Good to go. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Then we have Got Mick coming out in a very daring um, avant-garde sort of, oh my gosh, Joyce DeWitt in the Matrix look. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like it a lot, but I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not a fashion girl, so I really don't have much to say when it comes to like the fashion element of like, like the high, high fashion. Mm -hmm. But like mm -hmm. I am, I is visually appealing and she looks amazing. Yeah, but it wasn't my I favorite of the night, but I did <laughs> think it was stunning. Like I, I was like, I can objectively look at that and go, oh, that's really good. But it wasn't my favorite. We have Rosé to the stage. Mm -hmm. I love this look. This is one amazing. of my favorites. Yeah, mm -hmm. this was fun. I, I, was, I was into this. And mm -hmm. I, love I love the, the movement of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially so as a performer, fun. if you can find some way to like bring your outfit to life even more with movement, like that's, it was, it was, she sold it very, very well. I was living yes. for every time she spun and like they moved and they off moved. of her. Yes. yes. It was so good. All right. Now we have Miss Tina Burner. That's Rhonda McDonald. All right. Here we go again. Next. You know, the problem with doing all your looks with the red, yellow, theme or whatever is besides looking like mcdonald's and you served one billion people with this look um she all of them look the same the second she walks on the stage and i see the colors i swear it makes it forgettable for me well, it, like, makes me, you know, it makes me bring my own like judgments to it I'll right off the bat if it's just red and yellow again because I go oh red and yellow again like my god so I don't even look at the work like it's actually as a look it's not like the worst look it's just I'm like god I'm so I'm so I know it's a brand thing I know it's it's her but style. now I'm starting to see why she struggled to get on <laughs> so many years yeah, <laughs> we have Candy Muse in book bags. <laughs> I love this. This was oh, Candy should have been high. Jan candy Sport was fuming, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> you know they covered up them labels. Cool. Oh, you know they did. They cut <laughs> them off. <laughs> but I love this, and I love that hair. It reminds me of Susie from oh, Rugrats. Yes. Oh yes. yeah, Susie yeah, Carmichael. Hair, I love the hair. Finally, I, a reference I can make because I'm a baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, you would have excelled in the mini challenge this week, I'm sure. Yeah. Literally, goo goo ga ga. <laughs> yeah, I thought this outfit was really cool and really fun. This is this is the kind of thing that I was wanting from Candy. I want her to just have a little more fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, do we have any more? Is there Utica? Ah, of our course. final look. Oh my God, we have Utica to the stage. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. This was my favorite of the, the whole night. As, uh, I loved as it. She really got a beanbag to shape. No, not a beanbag. Uh, sleeping bag. Sleeping bag yeah. to shape her body ever so. And then she got on the ground and the story. Oh, this look. Utica is one and of my And the train favorite. behind her. Like, it's, it's, it's yeah. I, love I think that. what Nicole Byer said was, you made that in the same time Lala remade <laughs> that? Like... <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> and I think that's all I have to say about it. You know, and like on this top of is everybody. And the zipper. If you <sighs> notice the zipper in the yeah. back, it goes all the way down and it is perfect. Epic. Like, 
I love Got Mick, and I, I really do like what Got Mick did this week. But as soon as I saw this, I thought Utica had it in the bag. Me <laughs> too. Fully. <laughs> in the bag. Because she was in the bag. <laughs> I just come in, come on, and, like, and the nails with the makeup. It's just, it's so, it's so cool. I, just, I was just really into it. Yeah. I'm going to remember this look. And, you oh, know, yeah. like, for me, that that's a lot. Like, <laughs> after all the things we've seen on Drag Race, even just today. Like, <laughs> Well, we've made it through all of the runways of this week. I, I think yeah, we deserve we deserve a pat on the back. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes, we do. Going. The well. judges panel this week includes Michelle Visage, Carson Cressley, and our returning guest Nicole Byer, whom I'm still vying to be like a regular host. She just oh, needs I love her. To be oh, funny. she is sickening. and funny, and you know, it has great fit. like um great actual commentary. The judges' rankings find Denali, Elliot Batutis, Simone, Olivia Lux, and Tina Burner and Candy Muse all declared safe. Got Mick, Rose, and Utica Queen are in the top. And La La Rie, Tamisha Iman, and Joey J are in the bottom. How do we feel about the rankings? Are they right? Yes. No. Yes. No. They're pretty right. W- yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> I just feel like Candy should have been high. Well, I just, maybe it's once again biased, but I'm really rooting for Candy and I really enjoy her looks. And that would have just been like, ha ha, Tamisha. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I thought Olivia deserved a little more. Like she could have been in the top for me. I'm thinking specifically to the look that she made. Uh, You know, it just so stunning. It didn't read bag to me at all. It looked like high couture. So yeah, oh, yeah, I, I feel Olivia like Olivia deserved a little more spotlight this week. Personally. Candy or Olivia? Maybe Olivia. Definitely Olivia. Um, so Got Mick is declared the winner of this week's challenge, winning a five thousand dollar cash tip. And La La Rie and Joey J are announced at the bottom too. They lip sync to "Fancy" by Iggy Azalea, and La La Rie ends up winning. And Joey J, everyone's favorite gay ass bitch sashays away as joey is a hometown girl here and i do love her outside of drag race Mm -hmm. and but i feel like she was really just embarrassing herself just constantly going on and the judges put their her there to read her and i'm so glad that her time is up (laughs) do you want to know what i think about uh joey j joey j comes from uh she's connected to the house of sexton as well Mm -hmm. and it is my personal belief that what they're doing is setting up a future storyline for contestants later on you know they love for people to be on the show who are in each other's family and now that we've had got mick on the show breaking barriers um there are some people in joey j's family who i have a feeling (laughs) we're gonna see on the show later on. maybe who knows Mm -hmm. Uh, the name coming to my mind, Aurora Sexton. If you don't that's know all her, I was thinking. Uh, yeah, that's get into her. Said that I was like, yep, absolutely. <laughs> it's tea. Mm-hmm. Well, I know next week it's supposed to be a dance performance challenge. Do we have any predictions for who we think might be in the top or in the bottom for that? Well, um, Rose is going to insist that she's in the top. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could see. Um, hmm. Simone, uh, maybe not. I feel like Simone would probably be. Yeah, I don't safe. know. I don't know how she is as a dancer. I still have a, a good feel for her in that. Olivia, area. and I hope to see Tamisha Iman. You know, they they critiqued her really hard on that first group number. You know, mm-hmm. where they were like, "We know you. You know, you can do more." I hope. I hope that she can find that. And me uh, and I do feel like they're judging her a little too harshly. Me too. Mm-hmm. They don't put Tamisha on the same level as everybody else. And I don't think that's really fair. No. Tamisha is a legend and she's still Mm -hmm. doing legendary shit just because it's not the same as what the videos we've seen online. But she is still like her verse and that that performance was amazing just because it wasn't what Tamisha Amon 20 years ago did doesn't mean it wasn't amazing. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I love her so much. (laughs) <laughs> well thank you so much for joining us it was it was thank a you for having me and yeah what an honor you were hilarious and <laughs> awesome to have thank yes, yes. you
Well, thank you so much again for coming to the Two Gays Watch YouTube channel. Remember to like and subscribe, and you can follow us at Two Gays Watch on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And if you want to have an even gayer experience, you can head to our Patreon page, which is Patreon forward slash Two Gays Watch, where we have fun stuff for you guys to look at every single week, and we have even more fun stuff planned. 